Welcome and hello my beautiful Sagittarius. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of June the 20th to the 26th, 2022. Starting off, you've been given the card, the ship. So there could be some travel coming into the equation, whether it's pleasure, vacation, or perhaps going, uh, you know, planning a business trip. Um, some of you could be going overseas or you could be dealing with people on an international level. This also means that you could be waiting for your ship to come in. You may have done something out there where you're wanting to be rewarded and this card can be indicative of that as well. So great. Coming in with your first card, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, <clears throat> the Six of Cups and uh, the Ten of Wands. So I think you're in the process of, of planting something and planting your seeds. I think you're going to succeed at it as long as you remain uh, balanced and you remain patient here. Queen of Pentacles has that ability to put her hands to things and make it grow. She plans it. She knows when the right season is. She knows that she has to wait that duration before she sees her progress come into play. Um, she's very maternal, which means she has that ability to take care of nature and, other, uh, and animals as well. You could be dealing with uh, things like that. Maybe some of you are getting involved in the environmental uh system this year or maybe you know you're going to be buying a new pet or maybe your pet has issues and you're going to be dealing with that uh, but nurturing is definitely coming into play take care of yourself do what's right for you I think you have that ability to create the happiness that you want and also the prosperity as long as you uh, you're consistent and you remain patient six of cups maybe you're going to be in contact with someone from a distance or maybe you're going to be reconnecting or reconcil rec reconciling with somebody from a distance. Um, this could be someone that you knew as far back as when you were a child. Um, maybe you guys got, you know, separated due to, un you know, uh, uncontrollable issues that you, couldn't ha that you couldn't control. Something came up that involved that separation. Um, you could be dealing with someone you know for your job maybe you're dealing with people at a distance where you're discussing things with people in other countries for others you could be having some uh, communication and some entertaining of children around you that uh, I think that you're going to be connecting with someone though it uh, you know it could be on a business level too or you could just be romanticizing and, and uh, you know reminiscing about the past how things were when you were you know when you were younger and, and beautiful now coming in next you have the ten of wands and that is the ten of wands talks about pushing yourself working very hard taking on a lot of a lot of burden onto your own shoulders you might have had a very heavy workload that you've now finally completed and you've come to the realization that it was a struggle for you maybe it was in a relationship you know putting all the effort and committing all the effort into it to build it and to maintain it and at the end of the day you've said I'm out of here uh, you know lightening your load moving on in a new direction and things now upon on this next leg of your journey are going to be much easier but you've learned that you succeeded by pushing to a point and you reached the you reach the summit but now you're coming down the other side much easier for those of you that may have had a work schedule that was very challenging and maybe you had deadlines now it's finished for others it could have been challenges in relationships and you've decided to you know go solo and move forward in a new direction on your own beautiful okay let's see what we've got coming in with the fish fish has to do with material part of your life it has to do with money it has to do with dealing with that part of your life uh it's it's interesting i love this card because it is a little bit different from the other lanterman uh, cards in the other decks but i do find that it's similar um you know it has its differences but it is still similar so you're moving forward and i think you're dealing with money i think you're thinking about your finances more at this time or your income and your personal possessions right now thinking about materialistic things um you know and you can be influenced by this you might be thinking that i need to do i need to uh you know take care of my money i need to uh save my money i need to have enough money uh you know listen to your inner voice okay um you know if you know if you're feeling that you're lacking finances this card says you're not going to have to worry about that too much longer. Um, you're going to find a way to get through this. I always look at this with the, the, this card as a good card. No matter what deck it comes from, I always think of the fish. Being able to take a little and stretch it a long way. 
Okay, I think you're going to be finding that you'll have the ability to do that now. You'll ha you, you can be creative and take a little bit of money and spread it out or divide it up where you need to, to go. You might be doing that as well. Now, you got the Three of Wands, you got the Page of Pentacles, and look what you got, the Ten of Pentacles. So, great energy coming in. You've done some hard work here. I think you've been concerned about your finances. So, you've worked very hard and you're waiting now to see how it's going to turn out. Watching, basically, for your ship to come in. But this card says congratulate yourself. You, you deserve the hard work that you applied to something here is definitely paying off. And you will get see the rewards coming in because of it. So, keep moving forward. Keep being productive. Keep continuing on this path because you're on the right path towards improving the financial part of your life right now. Don't, don't just stand there and wait to hear how things are going to work out. Keep moving forward and be productive. You're going to hear because here comes this little messenger, the Page of Pentacles. And that's usually a message about good news to do with finances, money. There could be a pay increase. You could be getting an increase in your salary. There could be a bonus coming in. Um, this could have to do with a promotion as well. But for others, maybe you're thinking of how you can uh, how you can become more productive and maybe take a non, maybe take a, a new course of study or add to your resume with taking a new credit or getting your master's in something. But some Something that's going to elevate your pay rate up. So this is always good news. You're going to be hearing about money coming in, money and possibilities of doors opening, of opportunity to create that. Here it comes. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Security financially. Okay. You're going to feel stability now. And you know, when we have enough money, we're always happier in our home life as well. So here is the family. Very happy. Uh, there's no uh, no problems in the home life. The, the circle is unbroken. It's a strong bond and even harmony amongst the children now are be coming into place. So there is going to be some security and happiness now that you're going to feel so much better about because I think your finances are going to improve because the material part of your life is helping you to live the lifestyle that you want to live. Now, coming in next, you've been given the ring. And I always look at the ring. Well, it could be obvious. There could be an engagement. There could be um, a partnering up. There could be a commitment to move in together. This is usually stability. This is usually everlasting. This is solid. So something's happening here. There could be a partnership at work where you've been working hard towards that and you're signing the documents to, to, you know, to legalize that so that you have a secure spot there. But for others, you could be hearing about a wedding or an engagement. Um, uh, some sort of beautiful occasion that can be coming up amongst two people as well. Or it could be you. Now, coming in next, you have the strength, you have the page of swords, and you have the moon. So you could be, um, you know, you could be working uh, towards communicating with somebody here. Um, and you're going to be creative when you are. <clears throat> this is about being strong. And also, uh, when you're strong, it might require restraint. Okay, so restraint is very powerful, uh, you know, especially when we're drawn into dramatic conversations that could get a little, um, you know, heated up. I don't want you to react and to lose your cool and react with the roar of the lion because you've heard me say this a million times. You can't take words back once they're spoken. So I do think that you're going to have to look at a situation in a little bit more compassion and understanding. Um, there possibly could be some forgiveness issued here too. But I do think that you're going to be a lot more settled here. You're going to be having to allow yourself to step back and look at a situation before you react on it. Going in with the gentleness of a lamb, not the roar of a lion. The page of swords steps up with a new message. Okay, this is all about something that comes in all of a sudden and it could come in the form of gossip or perhaps you don't like how this person delivered the message. But it is the page of swords and I think you're going to see something coming in that's going to help propel you forward uh, in the direction you want to go. If you've been dealing with a legal issue, I think this is beneficial for you that you've received this news so that you can move forward. Often this card talks about um, <clears throat> hearing this news and it catches you off guard and then you have to... St stay still and, and stop and, and process it and think about it uh, so that you can plan yourself and where you're going to go next. So, you know, this might require the restraint here, the understanding. Now, the next card you have is the moon. And uh, the only thing holding you back from going forward here is yourself. The moon is the card of, of getting up in your head and creating this illusion. Um, don't allow yourself to do that. Don't allow yourself to sabotage 
any efforts uh, and benefits and that are coming down your way and opportunities. Uh, the the wolf goes on instinct. Trust your instincts, your gut feeling. The the dog goes on what he's been taught. You have all the database to go towards your goal here, and just trust your gut feeling. Listen to that inner voice of wisdom that says, "Yeah, go for it." Also, this is about finding out something. Now, when this page came in, this page comes in with some information, and this could be the secret in the background you've been waiting for, because often the moon talks about a secret being revealed. Okay, <clears throat> wow. All right, let's see what our outcome card, our final energy card is you've been given the key. So basically you hold the key to move forward here. And if you, you take your time, if you don't get yourself caught up uh, and allow yourself to get too excited, I think you're gonna be able to find that you can move forward in a successful way. The universe, to me, this is like the magician. The universe says you have all the resources at your fingertips to turn that key and go through that door of opportunity, to reach out and take what's yours. And I think you're going to be moving forward. You, you, you just need to realize that everything around you is enough. What you have is enough. And you can go forward with what you have. So don't be afraid to open those doors of, of opportunity. If someone's offering you something or someone's saying, hey, I heard about this, you know, through the grapevine, would you be interested in it? Because I think you're interested here in building something here and wanting to have a have the, have this um, this increase in income in the material part of your life. And so many of these readings this particular week have all you know mainly been around income and around increased money. So and you're not exempt. So Sagittarius, I think you this is what your goal is for this week and the and the few weeks and you know the energy coming forward as well. So Spirit, let's see what they need to see, know, and expect. <clears throat> for my Sagittarius. This has been quite a fast reading too. So I think you're going to be hearing good news, whether it's brought in from someone you know from the past, whether it's a settlement, uh, whether, you know, it's a new job, a new opportunity, uh, you know, business, whatever the case is, I think you're going to see that you're going to have this connection here. There's going to be a partnership coming in that's going to be quite lucrative for you so coming in with the queen of pentacles the six of cups and the ten of wands don't get up in your head here again you could be thinking about the past maybe there's someone from your past that you're thinking about and <clears throat> you're getting up in your head and you're thinking you know that things didn't work out um you know, you have to realize that there's cups opening up and doors of opportunity opening up and let it go. Try not to lose yourself in that world of illusion and daydream. Um, it's okay to reminisce, but not if it's going to pull you down. So fives are about, you know, I've always said this, challenges, but also the resources to, to resolve them. So this is saying don't cry over spilt milk because history is what it is and you can't change it. You can only move forward and learn from it. Coming in with your page of pentacles. Uh, your three of wands and that beautiful ten of pentacles you've got the tower so you're going through change here um, definitely something came into play here and it could have been a fast sudden situation that made you have to stand up and pay attention and make these changes however I do see that you're going to find with the changes you're making that you're going to find you're rebuilding a better foundation something strong something firm something that's going to bring you stability here okay so we talked about that ring you've got the key of opportunity here you've got the ten of pentacles and you've got this page of pentacles that says finances are going to be great and you're going to have that that stability and you're going to feel peace within that <clears throat> now coming in with the strength card the page of swords and the moon you've been given again you've been given another page the page of cups so this is somebody young looks young acts young perhaps is younger than you they come forward with attention uh, respect uh, appreciation or maybe even their hand in affection this could be a friendship going to the next level or, or you could be mentoring teaching or helping someone who's young um, know that this could be a temporary situation because the fish is in the chalice and we all know that the first sign of danger or the first sign uh, that things are you know they don't want to be there they're going to swim away very quickly so it could be short term um, don't be afraid because this page again comes with something it comes with the gift but it could be a temporary gift it could be something that they bring uh, for a short time Okay, well, my beautiful Sagittarians, this is your reading for this week. So quite interesting. I do think you're working on your finances. I do think that you're going to be able to see that come into fruition. Uh, there will be some improvement there. I mean, you've got some great cards here for some great, uh, great material um, progress. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. 
Always know I send you lots and lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon. Take care.